Cutting metals by utilizing CO2 in Andiac laser beam. A knowledge floater with videos, animations and audio text created by the University of Wuppertal. Laser cutting is a thermal cutting process. The laser beam is created in the laser device and passed on through the nozzle in the direction of the workpiece. The liquefied material is blown out by cutting gas, which is additionally induced through the nozzle. Motions of the nozzle or workpiece form the intended cutting groove. Laser beam cutting technology performs its task way different from other heat-induced procedures. Due to the small focus point and the resulting high power density. The power density stated in kilowatts per square centimeter is, in comparison with other power sources, highest in the laser beam. The laser beam must be accepted by the surface of the workpiece. In physics terminology, this means the beam must be absorbed. The degree of absorption depends on the material and the wavelength of the respective laser light. For example, the wavelength of the CO2 laser beam is well suited to the absorption curves of most plastics. The degree of absorption is high. All of the energy is coupled in. This explains why acrylic glass can be cut extremely well with a CO2 laser. Metals are a completely different matter. The surface refuses to cooperate. Normally almost the entire beam is reflected. The diagram explains why. The degree of absorption for metals is low, especially at the wavelength of the powerful CO2 laser. Only with a very high concentration of power is it possible to loosen the binding forces between the atoms and process the materials. Laser cutting is suitable for almost all materials, such as metal, plastics, wood, cardboard and even ceramics. Laser cutting of metals is a fusion cutting procedure. This means that the energy causes the material to melt and an inert gas, or at least nitrogen, forces the melt out of the gap. This process achieves smooth, shiny edges and clean cuts with almost all metals, including aluminium, titanium, copper materials, nickel, tungsten, molybdenum and cobalt. Steels are a special case. A phenomenon familiar from flame cutting is employed. In an oxygen stream, the iron is burned, as evident here in an open cut, producing a great deal of heat in the process. This additional heat speeds up and intensifies the process, which is now called laser flame cutting. This allows steel with a thickness of up to 30 millimeters to be cut. The robotic handling unit and the nozzle are movable in various directions. Not only straight cuts can be performed, but also any kind of bevel conduits. For this task, angle adjusting elements and circular axes work together in a wrist-like motion mode. The outstanding characteristics of laser cutting are narrow curves from 3 to less than 0.1 millimeters. As a consequence, reduced heat input and minimal distortions are attainable. The autogenous flame cutting process using oxyacetylene or the plasma cutting method creates significantly wider curves. Currently, the performance of these competitive methods shows the limitations of laser cutting regarding the processable thickness. So the research is evolving quickly and thicker materials will soon become unproblematic to process. Punching of holes is the initial step of cutting sheets. For the cutting tasks demonstrated so far, CO2 lasers have mainly been used. The neodymium YAG laser, however, is able to produce very fine cuts in thin metal sheets and foils. 
These laser cuts can be produced free of burns. After that, no additional machining is necessary. The video shows laser cutting of structural hydroforming elements. Diode pumped and yuck lasers are the preferred beam source in terms of quality and from an economic point of view. These workpieces are cut at the ends in order to be prepared for the next step. In this case, the parts are being cut and then welded without any further necessary machining. Variety, precision, speed and productivity. In a number of automotive products, machines and devices, we encounter laser cut components every day.